tutorial about how to install the T3 version 3 framework, both the quick start and the manual installation. This video will have three main parts, downloading the T3 packages, the quick start installation, and the manual installation. Let's get started with the download section. Now we're going to go to the home page of T3, t3framework.org. Next, come to the top and click on the download menu. Okay, find that okay? Now let's scroll down. You can see there are multiple packages for you to download. We have Quick Start Package, T3 Blank, blank and the Framework plugin. First, we're going to install the Quick Start Package. You see that? T3 Quick Start for Joomla, either 2.5 or Joomla 3.0. In this example, we're going to use 3.0. If you click download, okay, now proceed down to the file and click download. Now let's move on to the next part, installing the quick start. Now find the file you just downloaded. We have to unzip it first or extract the file. Okay, it'll take just a few seconds to unzip. So in this tutorial, we're going to install on our local host. This means on our computer. This is so we can practice and play around with it before we put it on the internet. You don't need to have a hosting account or pay for anything. You can just use it on your computer like this. So we're going to open the browser. We're going to come down, type in localhost. Now we're going to go to the extracted folder of the framework. Okay, you see this? So here's the index, T3 blank. Okay, first is the configuration. So please fill in all the required information, like the site name. You can put in the description if you want. Don't have to, but make sure you put in the email, a username, and a password. So the admin account. The username is what you use to manage your site when you log in. And the password goes with the username. Make sure you write these down or keep these in a safe place so you don't forget them. Now we're going to write the password one more time to confirm. So this option lets you set your site to offline mode or online mode. Right now we're going to keep in the default option. Okay, and then next. Now we're on the database configuration page. Okay, so we're going to select the database type, either MySQLi or MySQL. Then we're going to enter your host name here. We're going to use a local host. Now we're going to type the username and password and database name. Everything going OK? Now set the option to backup or to remove old database if the database name you've entered has existed already. See that? Simple one click of the mouse. Now we're going to go to the last part of the installation process. Okay, now we're on the overview page. So as you can see, we can install sample data. We're going to use the third one down, default English. We recommend you use sample data. Set up the email configuration and include passwords in the email. Now we're going to click install. Now it can take a few minutes for this to install, so don't worry. When it's installed, you'll get a green screen saying congratulations, Joomla is now installed. For security purposes, remember to rename or delete the installation folder in the root folder of your site. You have to do this before you can start changing your site. Let's get started by going to the admin panel. So using the account you created, please log in. Okay, now we're in the back end of our site. Go to extensions, template manager, now you can see the multiple styles of the T3 version 3 blank template. And we can view the front end, see what the site looks like to start. Great, so now we have a T3 site exactly the same as the T3 demo site. This is to make it a lot easier for you to understand what's going on when you change things in the back end. Having the sample data and having the images here lets you see the changes more effectively than if everything was just blank. Last, we go to the section Manual Installation. Okay, for manual installation, you can use the T3 package that includes the T3 plugin and the T3 blank template. You can also install the themes one by one. 
So let's download the T3 package. Okay, now open the site that you want to install the package in. Okay, this is the newest release from Joomla. So here's the front page of the Joomla 3.1 fresh site. Now we're going to go to the admin panel of our site. Enter your username and password to access. Now go to extensions, extension manager. Go to browse the installation package of T3 that we just downloaded. So let's find that file. And we're going to click on the upload and install button. So here's some references for you. Demo, documentation. And remember you can always go to t3framework.org. Okay? That'll have video tutorials, that'll have forums for you to ask any questions on the discussions, that'll have documentation with screenshots to teach you what to do. So let's make sure the T3 plugin is enabled. So we're going to check that. We'll go to Extensions, Plugin Manager. We're going to search. Let's type T3 to make this quicker. As you can see, it's here, and it's enabled. See the green check? It's enabled by default. Now we need to set up the T3 blank template as your default template. So let's go to Template Manager. Click here to set it as the default template. Now let's check the front end. As you can see, it works pretty well. It's all set. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this video tutorial about the T3 version 3 framework, how to install it and how to get started. There's plenty of other tutorial videos available about the T3 version 3 framework on youtube.com slash So check them out.